Today in this video, I will show you guys how you can get started with managing your projects on Trello. So let's get into the video. Now I have already signed up on Trello and we are going to build our first workspace. So simply log into your account and click on create on the top. Now you have two options. You can choose to create a workspace with a bunch of other people. So if you are organizing your company, you can do that. But we are going to be creating workspace first. First off, I am going to name my workspace in which I can build multiple different boards or you can build one individual board within your Trello workspace. Your own personal workspace, you can build a board in that. Now I am going to build a new workspace. So for our business, let's call it Durant. And then you are going to choose a workspace type. I am just going to choose other and then we are going to add Durant store launch and then we are going to click on continue over here. Now you can invite your team members but I will do this later. Now that I have built a separate workspace in Durant, I can get started with building boards. Now keep in mind whenever you are building shared workspace always make a separate workspace instead of putting them into your own personal workplace. That's because if you put them into your own personal workplace, everyone will need to have access to that space and then organizing things for your personal task can be a bit difficult. Now once you have built your workplace, you can click on edit over here to edit the short name. You can add the website. You can also change your icon and then on the bottom you will see some recommended themes. Now you also have your workspace settings on the left panel but we are going to edit those later. First we are going to create our new board. So you can click on create new board over here and get started with a simple board to start with the template. You guys can see there are a few different templates available. So if you explore the template section over here, you can see there are a multiple different categorization of templates. New hire tire list, non-profit, freelance, brand branding project and more. However, I'm going to build a simple board for maybe hiring people. So let's say I'm going to click on create first board and I'm going to use simple solid colored background. I'm going to add a new high process board and then you choose whether, you, whether or not this workspace. Anyone in the workspace should be able to see this board or not. So you can make it a private board. So even if people are present within the workspace and they have access to your other boards, they don't have access to this particular board and only people that are invited can have access. But I want everyone to have access and I will click on create over here. Now once you do this, Trello will give you a basic structure. So in this basic structure, you have a few segmentation and then you can add the more list. On the top you have your basic board view and on the free version of Trello, you are limited to a board view. Now I'm going to customize this because for new hires we don't have tools. Let's say we have CVs that we received then we might have a call for interview. Then we might have interview people over here. Then we might have rejected like this. Then we might have unaccepted candidate like this. And then we might have our final section which might be provide offer like this. Even within this, you don't have to make your categorize like I have over here. You can make them separately. So you can start adding your cards and you can create your card with a template. So let's say I got a CV from John like this. And if I click on this particular cards, I can add description to it. I can add activities. I can add members, labels, checklist, dates, attachments, covers, as well as custom fields. So what I can do from here, from the interview section, is that I can instead of putting this section over here, I can remove this because it look a bit too sketchy that way. So now I'm going to click on over here and build a new custom field. We can create our start a free trial over here to get started with the premium version of Trello. You know, 
you can just go ahead and add it over here like this. You can build your own custom fields so you can add your custom field as priority stated or new fields. And we might want to add rejected after the interview. We can create a new section called rejected and this could be a checkbox section. Either they are rejected or they are accepted. Or if you don't want to go to for the premium version of Trello, you can simply add the label section. And in your label, you can add rejected. Then you can create a new label. And for the first one, I want to give it a red color. Now once I have created one label, I'm not going to give it this label. But I'm going to add some more labels for green. I might give of a scent like this. And then I'm going to click on save. And then for orange, I might be a fallback candidate like this. So if I add a bunch of people's name over here. So after we have added bunch of people, you can add their particular curriculum or resume over here. You can add covers over here as well. But you can also enter new dates. But let's say I have called everyone for an interview. And after that, I interviewed everyone. So I can move them to the next section like this. And then let's say I want to hire this person. So I can click on this over here, here, click on the labels and give them the offer sent label. So now just like that, it has a green label over here. So I can just put them in the rejected section and then over here. And then at the bottom, at the end of my list, I can add a simple list called accepted or of finalized candidate like this. So in this way, you can organize your project on Trello. It could be related to marketing, new hires, or it could be related to anything. Now, this is just one example to show you guys another example. Let's go back into your board section and I will show you guys a different type of project management template provided by Trello. So you guys can see they have a simple project management templates over here and this is like a very basic template. So you guys can see on the left you know all of the templates. And this is the one that we are currently viewing. And you guys can see this has project resources question for the next meeting to do this pending and then we have freelance contract, blogged, done and this way they have completed everything. And in their status section and the label section you can see they have created different type of labels. So this is just one template. If you want to look for someone else, you guys can see they have marketing strategy template as well, like this one. So they have the helpful lunch info to do in progress. Ready for lunch, lunched all of that over here. Now obviously, the more details you add, the better it's going to be for you. The easier it's going to be for you to navigate. Now not only can you do this, but keep in mind, you can create multiple workplaces. So this is our workplaces called Duran. However, if I go into Trello, I have two workplaces, which is first of going to be my personal workplace. Then you have your Duran workplace. And then you can build another workplace for separate client or for you.